Hi, welcome back to Fishkeeper Fry. I hope you enjoyed your half term. How did you get on with the questions from last time? By now, we've got shrimps and fish. I hope all yours are healthy and that they all have names. We also learned about friendly bacteria and the job that they do to keep the water clean so that the fish stay healthy. Even though these friendly bacteria are working hard to keep things fresh, we still need to change a little bit of water to help keep the fish happy. They need fresh water like we need fresh air. Ah, that's better. Remember we talked last week about bacteria breaking down that fish waste into nitrate? Well, we need to make sure that that nitrate doesn't build up and harm the fish. You can't see the pollution, but it's still there. Think of it like a bad smell. The longer the water is in the tank, the smellier it gets. So it's time to change some of the water and give the fish some fresh air. First, make sure the heat is switched off at the plug. That's a job for the teacher. We do this so that it's always covered in water and doesn't get too hot. Let's get the gravel cleaner and hoover around as well to get the muck out. Starting the gravel cleaner is easy and a shake will get the siphon started. You may want to practice away from the fish and plants. Make sure the hose goes into the empty barrel. We don't want to puddle on the floor. If you need to slow down the flow of water to protect any curious fish, just pinch the hose. Once the barrel's full, it's time to carry out some plant care. The plants in your aquarium bring many benefits. They add oxygen to the water and help to create a healthy environment for your fish. Your tank may be home to a mixture of fake and real plants. Fake plants are easy to look after. All we need to do is to dislodge any algae from the leaves. We need to do some gardening for the real plants in the tank. It's important to remove any dead or decaying leaves as they'll fuel the growth of algae. Sometimes the plants will become long and leggy, so trimming them back will encourage bushy growth. Remember to be careful of any pest snails who may have hitched a ride from the store when cutting your plants as they may be hiding on the leaves. It's time to top up your aquarium. Remember how we learned about the different types of water? We're using a special kind of purified water called reverse osmosis water, or RO. If you're using tap water, remember to add water conditioner to protect the fish. Tap water can be very hard and isn't always the best choice for your fish. By using RO water, you can be sure that it's safe for your fish and can be made as hard or as soft as you like by adding minerals. Ask your store for more details. Once we've finished topping up the tank, it's time to switch the heater back on. A little change of water is always good, but you must never change too much, and certainly never more than half. You should also add some more plant fertiliser now to feed the plants after their hair cut. We aren't adding any fish this week for two reasons. One, it gives those hard-working filter bacteria a chance to catch up. And two, it might be your half term and there's nobody here to make sure the new fish settle in properly. However, we are adding some neurite snails. These snails help to keep the tank clean by eating the algae. If your tank doesn't have much algae, you may want to feed them some vegetables, like a small piece of cucumber to stop them getting too hungry. We use the same method as for the fish when adding our snails, but we also try to place them near a hard surface such as the glass that they can climb onto. They will occasionally come to the water's surface, 
So make sure you keep the water level a couple of centimetres below the tank lid to let them do this. Watching the residents of your aquarium, you'll see that they like to swim in different parts of the tank. They use the different parts so that they don't have to fight for food or space. The shrimps climb all over the plants and the furniture, the neurite snails stick to the glass, and the platys swim everywhere. Who's going to be Fish Keeper of the Week this week? And don't forget to check the worksheets for this week's tasks. And make sure you test the water and record the results on the chart. See, See you next, next week. week. Fact of the Week. Our aquarium plants grow pretty fast, but they're no match for a type of bamboo which can grow 91 centimetres a day. I had a racing snail once. I took off his shell to see if it would make him go any faster. But it just made him more sluggish.